These white folk can put hands on a goddamn officer and want a goddamn thing. I don't give a fuck about the time. What kind of time a motherfucker facing? The, if anything less than attempted murder on a fucking police officer is undignified. Anything less for all three of them. A nigga can't even look in a white police officer's eyes without him upping that goddamn fire. Olive leaf extract is good for naturally lowering your blood pressure, regulating your diabetic blood sugar, lupus, fibroid, STDs, and a whole bunch of other shit that you're going to need in the bedroom, big home. Now, to get your bottle, you go to myoliveleaf.biz or call 612-567-3263. Get your shit together, big home. Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I am A.O. Conseco, and this is Are You Fucking Serious? As in, every time I look up, I don't be wanting to talk about this race shit all the time, but let me talk to you guys about something you may or may not have heard of. There is a family in Baltimore County. I don't know what the fuck this is. The fucking Boom Docs, Boom Hicks family, or whatever the fuck, it's a mother, a father, and a son. The son and the other son was getting into a fight or something like that. The mom called the police. The police come there, and when they come, the mother starts swinging on the, the goddamn officer. As the officer tries to restrain, get her the fuck off, here come the goddamn father. The father. Yeah. Don't mind me. I'm just making sure that you know that that PayPal link is always in the description box. 90% of communication is non-verbal. You know that I believe that shit. So, as although I love when you go in the comment section and you say, oh, this is really shit on YouTube, oh, this fuck shit is a thousand, keep it real, and all that shit like that. I appreciate that shit, but if you really want to support the channel and you really believe the shit you're saying, fuck with the PayPal. Whether it's a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, show support. You know that you donate over $20, you have the option of getting your name or your business shouted out at the beginning of any episode of your choosing. Also, if you want one of the Big Homes AO Nation t-shirts, all you gotta do is go to the PayPal, shoot the $25 on them, come back to the Facebook Messenger or the Instagram, let me know you paid, tell me what size you want, and it should be at your house. After you get your address, but I think that's kind of obvious, I really don't want to say that on this fucking promo. But, you know what I'm saying? It's really simple with like that. But I want you to show support. Like, you know what I'm saying? AO Nation is not about talking. It's about doing. Do the shit, be home. Come and choke the goddamn officer out. Now, his, the other officer who's supposed to be helping, the son had walked up on the motherfucker and took her mace. So she over there trying to make sure the son, she over there, like, going at it with the son. You know what I'm saying? So she couldn't even help the goddamn officer that's being choked. The the husband, the, the, the father, choked the goddamn police officer out. Unconscious. Do you know that they made it to the goddamn police station unscathed? Minus a couple bruises and fucking scrapes. Unscathed. Vlad TV put this story up. Vlad TV put this story up. And a lot of these motherfuckers, just, you know, I, I'm going to tell y'all what the fuck it is with Vlad. Like, oh, man, this shit right here, police, police. But he's telling you motherfuckers, I don't give a fuck about what the fuck you think. I'm going to goddamn go ahead and rock out. He asked the whole, like, he had Jay Morrison up there, and he really got into that nigga ass and told that nigga that what you got going on is a fucking scam. He breaking that shit down because he knows about stocks. This is what you motherfuckers have to understand. You can learn something from any fucking body, no matter who the fuck it is. You can learn some shit from them. Be able to listen. Be able to listen and, like, and, and really gather shit in. Vlad be putting niggas on the hot seat. And now Vlad then gave this story to where it's blatant fucking racism. 
a family of three motherfuckers were detained. I don't give a fuck what the charge is. They were brought in alive. Time after time, like this has at some point in time, we have to, I'm gonna put, look, this is how real this shit is. I'm gonna put the link to this story in the description. You know I don't even do that shit. I'm gonna do that shit this time. Because this shit is important. Like, dog, at some point, we are gonna have to say, look, dog, we, there's a fight going on right now. There's a fucking fight. In this case, a fucking man was able to choke out a fucking police officer. Not a fucking uh, citizen being choked the fuck out for stealing candy. Not a motherfucker die from spinal cord breakage and shit like that. No. A police officer in uniform is choked the fuck out. Responding to a domestic violence. And he makes it to the fucking courthouse. Just like a goddamn school shooter. But if I got some hard on me, some dog food on me, and I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying, go and get this dope off me before I put my hands up, I may not make it back home to my goddamn family that night. Y'all go on my channel and look at me going on my regular walk. It, my nighttime walk, going on my regular fucking walk. Look how that goddamn police officer did me. I'm going to re-upload that video. Go to that video of how a nigga get motherfucking harassed for walking. You niggas and you bitches. I'm gonna see, cause I, I'm gonna give you some, I'm gonna give you some solutions, cause you know what's going on here. Here's some solutions. Here's what I did for the last three days. What I've been doing is. Any bitch on my timeline that has that bullshit, like, uh, uh I'm so sure glad God blessed me with, I'm, I, I unfollow. I don't delete them because you need those people to see what you have going on. I just don't need to see what they have going on because what they have going on is nothing but a distraction, as I told you guys. Those people, you should look at them like weeds. They're just in your fucking way. They're not real. They're not real. Unfollow everybody who has that everyday hood shit. Anything that is stereotypical of a fucking black person to say on social media. Some bullshit about, ooh, I, I'm trying to see if I want to uh, wear my curls or wear my long hair. Uh, 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 I don't give a fuck if I'm fat. I'm, uh, you know what I'm saying? Any of that, a nigga too. A nigga that's in it, bullshit, faggot shit that nigga say. If a motherfucker doesn't have those posts, I don't give a fuck what they do here and there. If, if one time they post some nigga shit, whatever like that, some bullshit, unfollow them. You don't gotta unfriend them because if you're on this channel, I expect you for you to have some type of business going on that you may need promoted. So you keep the friend, whatever like that, so they can, because they good for what they good for, they'll spread the word. Or maybe they won't, but they'll see what you have going on. But get that dumb ass shit out of your life, off your timeline. This is what you're trying to escape. The reason why you don't fuck with people outside, the reason why you're, you're a loner, the reason why you move solo, is because you don't want to be around that dumb ass nigga shit. But it's worthless if right here on your phone, all you see is goddamn bad bitches ain't gotta, like, what the fuck? We, we, we eating over here. I don't give a fuck about nothing but me and my baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, get them retarded motherfuckers who not gonna go nowhere. Get them out of your, your whole life. You don't deal with them on an everyday level in your real life. That's a good job. But now you have to get them all the way out of your, 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 your world. You don't need to see that because it's distraction. Like, you got hoes on this motherfucker. Like, I was just, I had shit to do yesterday. And I got on Instagram to upload my video and shit like that. And... First thing I see is just, you know what I'm saying, short, thick, stupid, thick bitch, just really just like dropping, like just, I'm trying to stand straight up to going, I'm trying to just working that shit heavily. And it was so hard to get off that whole shit because it's like, God damn, this whole, it's a distraction. It's a distraction. It's so hard to get off. I'm, I'm telling you, this is from a nigga that work every day. 
it is hard as fuck to, you know what I'm saying, focus with that, like, like Drake said, it's hard as fuck, it, uh, we, it's, it's supposed to be some hard working going on, it, it is hard to focus while it's twerking going on, it really is. This is why you have to just have people on your timeline that are saying real shit, you know, motivating shit, putting shit on there that actually means something. And it's fucked up, but like most of my timeline now is niggas. It's mostly niggas. But I don't have that distraction issue. That's what you need because in this situation right here, like, we have to build. This is nothing more than confirmation of the times. This is just like the school shooting. This is just like the bitch who called the police on the charcoal man. This is just like the bitch who just got in a fight at the Circle K. We know what's going on out here. This is just confirmation that it's actually going on. So you have to stay focused. So how do you stay focused? Stay to yourself and get yourself established. Stay focused on what you're doing. Because scrolling on this motherfucker right here, you know what I'm saying? You got motherfuckers texting. And sh they ain't talking about nothing. They ain't talking about nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because you need to be working on what you're working on. See what's going on. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Can you see it? What is that? Tell me. I don't know how the fuck this be over there, so that's bullshit, dog. That's why the fuck, see, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm on this TM roof and shit, like, this is bullshit, my nigga. I be getting so fucking mad at this motherfucker, like, dog, it still ain't loaded. That's another thing. You are, you, you're so in tune with what you're doing that if, you know what I'm saying, that bitch got a load, whatever like that, that shit actually start fucking with your mood. You'll actually get mad at that shit. Like, that shit's still loading right now. You'll get mad at the shit, like, no, because you really want to see what's going on in other folk life. I say that social media shit, I said, I, I said this, I, I got a mean about this shit. Social media is an, I said, I might have said Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube. I might have said, social media is an aggressive distractor. Yeah, you can see what's going on here and there and shit like that, but you're mostly being distracted because if you want to act on what's going on, you really can't do it because you're just so into what the next post is. This is what's going on. Right here, Vlad dropped the story, but you had to read it. It was an article. On his website. It wasn't a video. Niggas want everything scooped and fed to them. Scooped and fed to them. You're going to have to find a way to achieve your success while at the same time staying focused on what you're up against out here. Period. Point blank. What do you want to do with your life? Why aren't you doing it? That's it. Do the people around you support you? Fuck no, they don't. Nobody gives a fuck. But why don't they believe in you? Other than the, the of course they're not going to believe in you because they've never done shit. But the other reason is you haven't shown them that you're anyone to believe in. You're not doing shit. You playing around, you getting on social media just like everybody. They, how the fuck can you believe a nigga who on, on social media tomorrow? Like, yeah, got this new mixtape coming out. Yeah, you know, we finna start. We finna open up. I'm finna buy my first house. Or whatever the fuck you talking about. Yeah, I'm a car salesman. Nigga, everybody do something. The fuck make you different? Are you the best at what you do? Or are you just another nigga doing it? Shout out to my nigga Keith Day too. Senior squad of AO Nation. That nigga is another nigga who 
I speak to, as an elder, he's been here longer than me, and he really lets me know he's my confirmation to know how this whole life thing really, how motherfuckers all around the world are the same fucking way. If you're not going to do anything with your life, you may as well give it the fuck up. Big Facts Podcast, Ayo Conseco, make sure you hit the PayPal, see you in a minute.